This is Sue Bush from Physique Development, and today we're gonna to talk about the pace of weight gain when you're bulking. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. Today's video comes from a question from our DM. So if you're interested in asking us a question, then shoot us a message to this Instagram account or leave us a question down below and we would love to get to it. And if you like this type of information and you want to be able to learn from coaches that have over 40 years of experience and a team that loves providing evidence-based and free information, then please go ahead and subscribe. It would make us so happy and it allows us to continue creating videos like this. You can also share with a friend, which would be a huge help as well. So today's question from the DMs is one pound per week, a good pace for bulking. When I get questions like this, whether it's in my DMs or from clients, I always like to challenge them to think a little bit further. Is one pound per week a good pace for bulking? You'll likely get the answer of it depends because it does. It depends on what your goals are currently how consistent you are, what your lifestyle looks like, what your body fat looks like currently. There's a lot of things to be able to take into consideration here before just strictly answering the question of a yes or a no. Timeline is another aspect we wanna take into consideration because if you are in a place where you have a very short timeline to gain muscle versus you have more time to gain muscle, then that can change how much weight per week you're wanting to gain because if you have more time, then why not go a little bit slower to be able to minimize the fat gain? Versus if you do have a shorter time frame, you likely might have some more fat gain just because you're trying to push up food, to push up that performance, to be able to gain that muscle and go on from there. If we go by that metric of one pound per week, this is often going to be considered a moderate and or sustainable pace that we can have while we are bulking. But your body weight I think is a really important aspect of this. If someone is a 110 pound female versus a 200 pound man, gaining one pound per week is going to look very different on those physiques. And it can just be extremely different of the amount of muscle tissue that they might be adding with that one pound. Because when we're saying one pound per week, it's not one pound of muscle per week, it's one pound of weight gain. And then you have to really dive into how much of that is muscle versus how much of that is fat. So what we like to use is percentages of your body weight to use that as a guideline. So a useful guideline is being able to use 0.5% or 0.25 to 0.5. So a fourth of a percent to a half of a percent. We're sinking small numbers here of your body weight. And that would be over the month for your average that you want to be able to look at for gaining weight. Because again, it's going to look vastly different for a 250 pound man versus 120 pound female. The other thing that we want to be able to take into consideration here when we are looking at that one pound per week is actually not just looking at the scale. That's something that we drive home repeatedly to our clients. We want to look at the full picture and that's including your pictures of how your physique looks when you take physique photos. And if you're unsure on how to take consistent and incredible physique photos, we have a video for that. We wanna look at these pictures, be able to compare how they look week to week, and when we are looking at muscle growth, more so month to month, because week to week, you might not see as big of changes, whereas that month to month time frame, you will see much better changes and be able to look at that a lot more objectively. The other things you wanna pay attention to are your biofeedback. So things like how is your digestion? How is your sleep? How's your recovery as a whole? Also where your mentality is at, because body image comes into this big time. And I don't think enough people take that into consideration because when you are going through any type of surplus, it can be very mentally challenging, not only to eat that much food, but to see your body change, even if you are doing all of the right things to minimize any type of fat gain. So I really like to look at way more than just the scale and not just use that to determine if I am gaining muscle. It's being able to look at the pictures, look at the biofeedback, use 
use measurements to your advantage and really being able to see what it looks like for your training performance and if that is improving because that is often overlooked when people are trying to gain muscle is that they think about okay I need to have an increase of food but they don't always think about keeping up that training intensity remember sometimes you might gain more than one pound a week sometimes it might be less it's all about being able to moderate your fat accumulation be able to have something that is sustainable and be able to put it in place to commit to gaining muscle because if you are wanting to gain muscle you have to give yourself at least three months and likely closer to six months to truly see muscle added to your physique and the ability to add that muscle to your physique thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any other questions i'd love to answer them and if you think a friend would be interested in this then please share it with them but i'll catch you in the next one